Welcome to Bryn Medical. Bryn is the clinic that Colleen and I created years ago that has the AMI model in it, and it's become the training center for AMI. And right next door, we have the AMI training center. So because it's the training center and the model clinic for AMI, I'd like to take you on a tour and see what the clinic should look like. Let's take a look. Hello, and welcome to Bryn Medical. One of the most common questions I get is, how big should a clinic be to be an AMI clinic? Well, usually between two and 3,000 is ideal. A lot of our clients start with a smaller clinic and then they work their way up to that, which is okay. This clinic that you're gonna see now is 5,300 square feet, but it was built out to be a training center for my other clinics, which works out very well now for AMI being the training center. So we have extra wide hallways, we have a very big spacious waiting room, we have big rooms for procedures to be done in. If yours isn't that big, that's okay, it's workable, but this is the ideal model. So as you go through this tour, keep that in mind. So our first stop on our tour is gonna to be into our rehab where we do all the treatment. Um, as we go into the rehab, I wanna point out our graduation board because our care patients are put on a care plan and they actually graduate and they get discharged. And we make a big uh, recognition or acknowledgement of that so that the patient understands they actually are different than when they came in. And it also encourages other patients who are in the middle of the care plan to continue on and graduate. So the first thing I'm gonna show you in our rehab is our graduation bell. When a patient graduates and it's determined that they're finished and they've reached maximum medical improvement and the patient agrees, they come in and they ring this bell. So you imagine there's a lot of people in here working out. They ring that bell and then what happens is everybody stops and they listen to the patient's story. When I came in, I could only do blah, blah, blah and I couldn't do this and now I can do blah, blah, blah and I can do all this stuff. And it's very inspiring to the other patients working out. Moving around the rehab room, you can see we have warm-up chairs. These are Pettibon wobble chairs. Um, we're not a Pettibon clinic, but we do like those chairs because they do help to re-imbibe the disc. You'll notice over my shoulder, we do the Pettibon neck traction, and the neck traction is good because it helps to assist us in putting the curve back in somebody's neck. One of the features in our clinic, in our rehab center, is these mat tables. And the mat tables make it very comfortable for a patient to be able to do their exercises. They sit 18 inches off the floor, they're eight feet by six feet, so they can hold more than one person at a time. So you gotta make sure they're very strong. I recommend you buy them from a manufacturer, but most people only need one or two to start. We have a lot in here because it's a training center. So here we have our adjustment tables, our chiropractic tables. They are right on the rehab floor. Uh, what we do is when patients are doing their workout, if it's time for them to get adjusted, we'll time them out of the rehab. They come over, they get treated by the chiropractor. Then when they're done, they go back in and time back in on the rehab. It's very convenient right here on the floor. The patients are educated that this is just part of the rehab program that they're doing. It's another modality that we're doing. We do some therapeutic modalities, like we do some soft tissue work, but not a lot, because remember, we can do rehab uh, soft tissue work, we can do trigger point injections and other things that will help the patient make the changes and, and re get the relief they need from that visit. It's very convenient. If you say, oh, my patients would never go for that, what you have to do is realize you're gonna be treat, treating the new patients this way and educate them. If you ask my patients to go get adjusted in their room, they would probably hesitate and say, no, why would I do that? It's because of the way they've been trained. A pretty vital part of our program is decompression. We like to do back decompression and even knee decompression because we do a lot of knee problems and knee cases. Um, the reason we do decompression, obviously it can help with a disc issue, but when people are using, when we're using regenerative medicine on our patients, it seems like the stretching is an activator that helps to stimulate the body's natural healing response. And we have tremendous success using these different types of decompression. So we like to have that in our program. One of the best ways to visualize arthritis is through radiograph and x-ray. So with the advent of DR and CR x-ray, it made a whole new game. It's easier, it's cleaner, it's cheaper to actually have x-ray department in your office. And if it's a diagnostic used by your medical people, you usually get reimbursed for it. One of the successful things we've done here at Bryn Medical is our neuropathy management program. We do that in these chairs because it involves sitting for a period of time. We want our patients to be comfortable, but we've had tremendous success with this and we are able to put this in this area just on the other side of our rehab. Our last stop on our journey through the rehab is our computerized range of motion center, our JTEC. This is where we do our objective testing of computerized range of motion of the seven areas of the body. We do this every couple weeks, and it's an important station because it gives us objective findings to back up the subjective and uh, otherwise improvements noted in our rehab, so we get to document that. I'm going to show you some treatment rooms, and it's important to understand that when you start with this, you really just need one medical treatment room. But as you grow, you can have more medical treatment rooms, so one, you can have MAs helping your medical provider 
prep for the treatments, and then you could have multiple medical providers. We have, happen to have four medical treatment rooms in this clinic. A very important concept and an important room in our model is the consultation room. It's in the consultation room that we discuss the patient's history, the emotional reason that they're there, the injury or the problem that they have. We're going to talk about what the recommendations are, if we can help them or not, and what the recommendations would be, and how much it would cost, what their insurance is going to cover, and what their responsibility would be. 